Good morning. We are going to the jackpot today to the barrel race and we're gonna you guys are gonna come with me but first we've got to feed the ponies and feed the steers and do chores. We got to get everything ready and so I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you what that looks like on a typical morning of getting everything ready and getting everything fed and ready to go to the jackpot. So we've got a helper, Milo, and we've got Taryn helping me today, who I will, she's gonna be filming for me and then I'll make sure to introduce her to the camera a little bit later. <laughs> got their hay now and we feed mostly an alfalfa mix kind of this is straight alfalfa feed that to most of the horses and then they'll also get 
a little bit of some grass hay. Kind of like to mix that up. We are, Taryn right now is helping me and she's getting the grain for some certain horses that get grain. And then we've got a bunch of pellets right now that we don't usually feed, but they were won. I won them out of competition, so some of the horses get some pellets. Can't forget to feed the roping cows, calves, and some steers. Milo, Milo, come here. Don't chase him. All the roping steers. <laughs> Okay, we've got our trailer hooked up, got all our saddles loaded, I'm gonna put my boots in here for my horse to run in to protect his legs, and Taryn and Cisco were kind enough to do all the pen cleaning this morning and take blankets off, kind of get to see what it looks like in the daylight. So we are going to catch the horses we're taking. Taryn's coming with me and then Cisco's going to bring some colts to ride. <laughs> out before some of these guys got to finish their grass hay but we'll uh, throw some hay bags in and we uh we like to feed them a little bit extra oh what are you so excited about I think they got spooked from Taryn coming over from that way Shorty was all by himself and I gotta catch Bumblebee Come here, Bumblebee. Okay. We've got all the horses we're gonna take. This guy in the middle is Titan. He is our new horse. And we got Butters and Shorty. And Bumblebee's gonna go to the barrel race.
to grab her horses now. So we load them, we head to tail. And I like this for a couple reasons. But one is that they're not, their heads aren't together, they can't be fighting with each other. You know, they stand there pretty quietly. And two is that it distributes the weight evenly across your trailer and it's better for your tires. And if they stand like this, you can fit them more comfortably, fit more horses more comfortably in the trailer. Got everyone loaded. We're ready to go to the barrel race. They go before going to the barrel race because my truck got new tires. So we're gonna pick it up and then meet Cisco over there. Oh, these look much better. My old ones were getting used. unloaded everyone's unloaded ready to go pay our entry fees only horses. I've got um, Bumblebee and he's been hauled before but this will be his first time doing time onlys anywhere so hopefully it goes good. <laughs> showed you earlier but he's a new one Cisco just brought him to go ride around and expose him to new things he is a four-year-old coming five so he's the same age as Bumblebee but he probably won't be a barrel horse just a rope horse and we got another prospect to start riding so the cool part about this arena is that you can ride to the Hacienda sand wash and go warm up there if you want that's where we're gonna go warm up it's kind of a neat little place you just gotta go out through this gate and it leads right to the wash and the arena is just right over there and they call this arena the big tree for 
a big, huge tree. Oh, look at that. She's pushing it. <laughs> Good job. She said at home and she tried to open her gate. <laughs> In her pen? Yeah. Does she push them shut too or does she just like to open them? Oh, good job. <laughs> good job, mama. <laughs> Gotta teach you that, bumblebee. Nice. Yeah, I think it's so pretty, like, the trees back here and stuff. And it's good for Bumblebee because he's spooky. <laughs> so this is Taryn. She's been in my videos before and she's helping me this week. So who are you on Taryn? Mama. Mama. And is she your special horse? Yeah. yeah. How old is Mama? Yeah, she's 22 and she looks like a gym. She's still...
all warmed up now. I'm ready for time onlys. and did some more trotting in the wash alone just because he's young and he needs to get used to doing all sorts of things and I want him to think the barrels are easy so we're going to do work outside of the arena and make the arena fun. So we're going to go spray him off because they have a wash rack here and then we'll wait and the barrel race is going to start shortly and you'll get to see me and Taryn run. Okay, we're all done running. I'm gonna show you the videos and lots of work to do. We, I did not have the best run, so we're gonna all have to go back to work. We're gonna get these guys loaded up and Cisco's gonna take them home and I'm gonna drive my truck because we gotta stop by, get some groceries. For 22, Emery Palmer, you're up on Shorty. Followed by 23, Linden on Flint. 24, Melanie on Chance. 25, Bobby Joe Newman on GL. Happy guy, and then we'll drag. After the drag, we'll come back with 26 through 30. Wow.
Nice. Okay, we're just waiting to find out the results and see how we did. I for sure won't get a check because I hit a barrel, but we'll see where Taryn falls. How'd you feel about your run, Taryn? It was okay. Yeah. We, uh, we're both going to keep working at it and then see if the next jackpot goes better. Hey, we are home from the jackpot. Cisco got here before us, so he put all the horses up. Um, we're gonna, some friends and neighbors are here right now roping and I'm gonna go take some pictures of sale horses they have. But I had to check in real quick. I'm gonna put our videos up of the horses that we ran. Um, I thought Bumblebee did really good and for his first time only, so he was definitely lost and confused, but he didn't lose his mind and he held it together pretty well. And uh, I'm not super proud of my run today. I'm actually a little embarrassed. I thought it could have been a lot better. But I told myself I'd keep things real and I'm gonna show you guys the learning days. Um, so some mistakes were made. We're gonna show Taryn's run. I think Taryn's doing awesome. She's making lots of improvement and I'm glad that I had her there to help me today and to help record. And overall, it was a fun day. It's time to get back to work and ride some more horses, but I'm glad I could take you guys along and show you what a jackpot looks like for me and what it looks like after a not so good day. I just got to mentally prepare to put some work in and try harder because nothing comes without hard work and sweat. So we'll keep working. Ooh, Milo, did you have fun at the jackpot? Milo, he's... A He's always a happy camper with some butt rubs, so I think he had fun at the jackpot at least. We all had fun. But um, we're done now. Neither of us ended up getting any money, which is okay. That happens. We don't do it for money. We do it because we love the sport. So let's go get my camera and take some pictures. done jackpotting and now we're filming horses making some roping videos and we got Milo's help are you being helpful he just he just sits here and watches we're taking some pictures for our friends for their sale horses finally done for the night it's pretty dark now so we had a pretty busy day it was super fun thank you guys so much for all the support I appreciate you watching my videos and following along and make sure to subscribe click the notification bell and follow along for more adventures have a good night